WPCrafter.com, episode 006, What is WordPress Caching? Still not a member at WP Crafter? Well, right now if you sign up, you're going to receive these free gifts and best yet, for a limited time, it's free. Hey crafters, in this video I am going to talk about caching and what caching is with regards to WordPress. Now, you might not know fully, but the way WordPress works is there's a front end and a back end and it's all tied into a database. So when you create a new post or a new page or something along those lines, all that data is stored in a database. And so when someone visits your website, a database call happens where WordPress goes to the database and says this user or this visitor is visiting this page give me the text to display and then it displays that text well what this does is if your website gets a decent amount of traffic it puts a load on the web hosting server that you're on and that can slow down your page speed and also, if you receive a lot of traffic, it can really cause problems with the server that you're on, especially if you're on a shared hosting provider. Now, what caching is, is it creates a static version of your website that doesn't require going to the database to retrieve the information. So when someone visits your website, the web server is able to display the information that they're looking for very fast because it doesn't need to go to the database to pull the information out. And what that's going to do is make your web page load a lot faster, which is very important important for user engagement, for SEO, page speed is everything. You hear me say that a lot, page speed is everything. And with WordPress, there's a variety of caching plugins that are available that do various things to, in addition to creating the static version to make your website load faster. Now, one of the things they do is something called minification. And your website is comprised of a lot of pages that look like this. It's formatted like this. There's lots of line breaks and spaces and things like that. So when it minifies files like this, it removes all the extra white space and the page will look like this, which makes it a lot smaller. Therefore, it will load quicker and your website will load quicker. And so that's what minification is. Now, there are several plugins available and it's hard to decide which one to use. Now, the lead in the space is in my opinion based upon its download numbers is w3 total cash or w3 tc now w3 tc has been downloaded according to wordpress's website at the time of filming this over three and a half million times it's by far the leader in caching with this plugin though it could be a little intimidating at first and in the video i'm going to make i'm going to go through the settings for it this is actually the one that i use and you can do some research online and you'll find that everyone pretty much the consensus is from testing and speed tests is this is the best plugin to use now the only negative with it is that it is also a little more intimidating with all the settings uh, number two ranked one is WP Supercache, which has also been downloaded millions of times. And the settings are going to be a little easier with this one. Uh, and then there's another one here called Quick Cache. It's one of the newcomers. This plugin here is a lot easier to configure uh, for you. Caching plugins have always been dominated by, by free plugins so the, all these developers they're giving you the plugin for free however with w3 total cash they do have a premium version that you could pay for but it's pretty much dominated by these free plugins but there's a new one that recently came out called wp rocket this is a paid plugin and it all also offers some additional functionality that's really neat so i'm going to go through and make a series of videos on each of these 
these plugins, its benefits, and why you would want to use it over the others. Now, I will preface it by saying I use W3 Total Cash, and there's some benefits to it, and it is very easy to configure. However, one of the ones that I want to uh, test out and I'm really looking forward to testing out is WP Rocket because uh, some of the things that it does. I want to answer the question that I get a lot is do I need a WordPress caching solution or a WordPress caching plugin and the answer is 1000% yes you do. If you're on a shared hosting which most of you probably are your provider your shared hosting provider is going to want you to use a caching plugin. They might, once your website starts getting traffic, require you to use a caching plugin. Especially if you're on HostGator or Bluehost or some of the bigger hosting providers, you're going to get much better page speed if you're using a caching plugin. But that aside, just for page speed alone, you really need a caching plugin and it's real easy to put in and I'm going to go through it with you in the next series of videos. So thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Hey, we'd appreciate it if you took a moment to click on the thumbs up button and to share this video with your friends. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and take a moment to go over to our website, leave us a comment, ask us a question, but sign up for our newsletter. Don't have enough time for all this WordPress stuff? Then have the experts install and configure WordPress for you. We'll install, configure, and optimize WordPress for free. All you have to do is sign up for a new hosting account from one of our recommended providers. For more information, visit wpcrafter.com slash free install. Thanks again for watching this video and make sure you connect with us on these social networks.